I felt like I've had kind of problems with my jaw for pretty much my whole life. Um, like dent, like at the dentist and things like that. Um, you know, my jaw would get tired and stuff like that. Um, and then when I was in high school, it got really bad to where I stopped chewing gum altogether pretty much because after like even five minutes of chewing gum, my jaw would just start hurting. Um, and so I knew something was wrong. And then my biggest um, kind of thing was when I would wake up in the morning, my jaw would lock or um, I would just be sore from all night of clenching and, um, you know, being tight all night. So for the first 10 minutes of waking up, it would, I wouldn't be able to kind of move and I'd sometimes have to massage it, kind of open and things like that. Um, so, and that was pretty much all of high school and college. Um, and then I knew in high school they had told me that I had slight TMJ. TMJ. Um, so like the locking and popping and things like that. Um, so it's kind of been a thing that I've dealt with, but um, and so my mom had really bad jaw problems and she had her jaw wired shut and all this other stuff. So for me, it was always like, well, I'm not as bad as my mom, so it's not a problem. So that's why I never really like pursued it because it was like, okay, well, you know, it could be worse. And when it's worse, that's when I'll do something about it. Um, but for now, like I can deal with 10 minutes of soreness in the morning or, you know, things like that. For most of my medical things or, you know, things that I, I tend to just keep dealing with them and just plowing through them and dealing with them. And there isn't really a moment for me. Yeah, exactly. Just, just tough knowing girl. that I can, yeah, tough girl, deal with it. I can get through this. And there isn't really a moment for me. The biggest thing, it was talking to my mom, but for me, it's also the trust I have in my medical person. So a lot of times I've had a lot of illnesses and they'll want me to go on a medication and I say, why are you, why am I taking this specific medication that has these side effects? And if they can say, you know, I think it'll help this. I think it'll help that. I think, and I've had doctors also say like, I, I have no idea why we're just going to try it. And that makes me run away so fast. And I hate that. So for me, when I trust my, my doctor or my dentist or whoever's doing something to my body, when I trust them, that's when I'll take the leap, you know? So yeah, so we met and I told you I had clenching. I told, I talked about, you know, at night and, and being sore after, you know, a long appointment and things like that. And um, you told me about DTR and then I talked to my mom and she had had something done and she was like, I think you should go for it. So there wasn't really like, I bit down one day and it hurt extra and I was like, I have to change. It's really that like trust in you and trust that like, oh. you no, know, it really is. It's trust in you, trust that you wouldn't leave me, you know, down something that shouldn't be. Um, and just knowing that like you had my best interest, you weren't going to hurt me, you weren't going to do anything that was, you know, damaging or anything like that. So that really for me is what makes me follow through on doctors things and dentist things. I did a ton of research on it. Um, I really looked into it, looked at all the symptoms, you know, I, so with my, all my medical health things, you know, every medication I've ever been on, I research and, you know, know everything about it and any symptom I've ever had, I research it hardcore. So this, I, you know, I researched it too. And I was like, okay, I think, you know, the pros and cons, whatever, and um, so I think it was all three of those things. It was hearing from my mom um, that she did, she did it or did something similar and it was really good for her and how she hasn't had many jaw problems since. It was having that trust in you and then it was doing the research that, you know, there weren't, there really weren't very many negatives and most people, you know, had, had, you know, varying degrees of success, but most of them were, you know, at least some success. Um, so that's what like kind of and okay, I'm going to do this. So I, so I don't enjoy surgery and it's tough and I react really badly to anesthesia as well. Um, so it's a, it's a whole drama when I do surgeries. Um, so, so that was one of the biggest things that I looked into, like, does it need anesthesia? No, not at all. And I was like, okay, great. That's, you know, that's one Thing that I'm not gonna have to worry about. I don't have to go under any kind of anesthesia for this. Okay, good. I can take a deep breath. Next thing. Okay, Do, you know how much time am I gonna have to take off? Because knee surgeries. I mean, one of my knee surgeries, I had a cast from my hip to my ankle, 
and I, like it was for about three weeks for a whole month I had that cast so I couldn't like even when I sat down I had to like have another chair and stuff like that so it was also you know it was kind of okay what does this mean going forward like am I gonna have to take time off work am I going to you know have to go home and sleep and rest and all that kind of stuff and it was and you know again from looking at it and then with my experience none of that you know come in have it have the first session done walk out go about normal life and that was a huge thing because surgeries and any kind of operation or anytime you hear like those words like changing of things you think okay what is that gonna mean um and this was like walk in walk out so there's no pain on the teeth um when you're going through it there's you know there's not any pain um, with the vibration. I didn't feel any pain with that. I have a pretty sensitive kind of like, you know, getting headaches from vibrations. There have been times where I can't even use electric toothbrushes and this was no problem. So after the first session, I went home um, and I, I'm trying to remember between the first and second session, which one was which, but yeah, okay, so the first session, I went home, and, um, I, like, went about my daily life, I think it was a Friday, and I, I had taken off work, because I, I'm gonna be honest, I was like, I think I'm gonna have to, like, I can't imagine doing something and being able to go to work right afterwards, so I took off work, and I'm driving home, and I was like, okay, I, could definitely go to work right now it's no problem well I took a day off so let me go you know go grocery shopping do the laundry do the you know do all the the stuff I was gonna do this weekend because um, I have a day off work now <laughs> so um, so I took off work went home was perfectly fine went about my life went about everything um, and then you know was realizing that the pain I had in my head was actually a headache. I had never called it a headache, um, but I talked to my boyfriend later that night and I was like, I'm, it's weird, I'm not feeling this kind of, and again, like I never called it a headache because I didn't know that what it was, but almost pressure. And I used to just have pressure against my head all the time and I guess that's what it was because after the first session, I all of a sudden didn't have that pressure. And I was like, wow, I, I think I had headaches my whole life and didn't even realize it because now they're gone and now I know what it's like without them. And then, you know, sit with, with the night guard and with the second session, I was feeling really great. You know, I wasn't, um, wasn't having the pressure in my head. Um, you know, wasn't having the morning soreness, morning tenderness. Um, yeah. And, and not needing, you know, 10 minutes to work my jaw and get my jaw relaxed. Um, eating, you know, everyday food. I still don't, don't really chew gum because I just got so out of the habit of it. Um, but, you know, every once in a while I've chewed gum recently and it hasn't hurt. I think the thing that's changed for me the most, I would say, is definitely the night grinding and waking up in the morning. That's a huge difference and amazing. But the other really big thing is I noticed that when I just along my daily, you know, daily routine if, if I was on the computer for an hour or if I was doing something even driving for an hour I used to clench <laughs> and now I don't now my my jaw is kept in like a norm you know just a normal like resting position I guess you would call it um so now when I do daily activities it's just in a resting position so then it doesn't get tired throughout the day. So I think that's the biggest thing. Like even just watching TV. I remember, you know, I used to watch TV. I would watch a show and like during a commercial I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have to stretch. I have to work my jaw because like my, I, I had been tense the whole time and I had been clenching the whole time. And now when I watch TV it's like, like I, you know, commercial comes and I have to stretch my arms and all that, but I don't have to stretch my jaw anymore. So I think that's for me like is a huge thing is the not clenching. Um, when I'm just doing daily routine stuff. When I'm sitting, even just when I'm sitting, when I'm at a computer, it's not, I mean, even body talks about it, how I don't, like, if I'm stretching, I'm kind of stretching my whole body, and it used to be, like, a very, like, specific stretch where I'd have to stretch my neck, and I'd have to, like, it was kind of this area that I would be stretching and, and relaxing and resting because that was the area that was tense. 
Um, yeah, like kind of the whole thing. And now it's kind of just like, okay, I'm just relaxing the rest. Like my whole body tenses at a normal amount. And before it was like, this was so stressed out that this was the part I like worried about kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's definitely just kind of a relax and, and same in the morning, same like when I wake up in the morning, it used to be like my neck and shoulder areas and jaw, that was the tensest part. Um, and now it's kind of like I just wake up and I do like a normal stretch. It's not a like, oh, can I move my neck? Okay. Yeah. No, like it's not like that anymore. So one of the biggest differences that was measurable between, it was between session one and session two. In session one, we had the funniest time, it was just you and me by ourselves, and we had the funniest time like, okay, go right. It was like, go right. I am going right. Like, I, I am. I'm trying to go right. It was like, okay, go left. It was like, uh, okay, that's your left. And it was great because it was, you were you're so nice that it was like, okay, well, you can't really do this. And then the second time we did it together and it was like, okay, go right. And it was like, yeah, there we go. And I was like, wait, I can actually, like, I hadn't really tested it. And so when you told me to go right, it was like, wow, my jaw actually, this is what going right means. Um, so that was a huge measurable difference that it just, it, my jaw could actually move right and left and even now, like, it moves right and left. I don't always know the difference between right and left, but it moves right and left. <laughs> so I can, I can move it right and left. Um, but again, it was the uh, same thing with the head pressure. Like, I didn't even know that you were supposed to be able to move your jaw that much. And so I didn't know that I couldn't move my jaw, but I literally could not move my jaw. And now that I can, it's like, oh, okay, that was something I couldn't do before.